2020. In this video, we will learn some important topics from Chapter 2, Cells and Tissues of Organisms. Cell wall. First of all, we will learn about cell wall. So this is a diagram of a cell wall. Now what is cell wall? Definition. The outer layer of a cell. The structure in plant cells that consists of cellulose, lignin, etc. gives mechanical support to the cell is known as cell wall. Structure The chemical composition of a cell wall is complex and it's constituted with cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, pectin, suberin. The primary cell wall is single layered. The secondary cell wall gradually develops through the compilation of different chemical substances secreted from the protoplasm on the middle lamella. At the time of development of the secondary cell wall, cavities are formed called pits. Now we will learn the functions of cell wall. Number 1. The cavities formed in the secondary cell wall called pits give a cell its rigidity. Number two, the cell wall retains the size and shape of a cell. Number three, plasmodesmata formed in cell wall exchanges materials with adjacent cells. Number four, the cell wall controls the movement of water and minerals. Now we will learn about plasma lemma. This is a diagram of plasma lemma. So what is a plasma lemma? And the definition goes like a plasma membrane which bounds a cell spatially one immediately within the wall of a plant cell is known as plasma lemma. Functions. The plasma membrane surrounds all cells and physically separates the cytoplasm, which is the material that makes up the cell from the extracellular fluid outside the cell. The plasma membrane provides structural support to the cell. Now we will learn about mitochondria, which is the most important organism of the cell. And this is a diagram of mitochondria. Here we can see it is a DNA matrix. There are DNA matrix, intermembrane space, ribosome, inner membrane, Christi, outer membrane. And this is a complete diagram of mitochondria. So what is a mitochondria and its definition? Mitochondria are organelles within eukaryotic cells that produce adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the main energy molecule used by the cell. For this reason, the mitochondrion is sometimes referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria are found in all the eukaryotes. Important to mention that Mitochondria is the plural form of mitochondrion. Structure The mitochondria by a double layered is surrounded by a double layered membrane which is composed of phospholipid and protein. The inner membrane has infoldings called Christi. These foldings are studded with small round bodies known as oxisomes. The oxisomes contain enzymes. The space enclosed by the inner membrane is the matrix. 
Now the functions of mitochondria. Number one, they are sites of cellular respiration. Number two, they use oxygen to oxidize carbohydrates and fats present in the cell to carbon dioxide and water. Oxidation releases a portion of which is used to form ATP. Since mitochondria synthesize energy-rich compound ATP is called powerhouse of cell. Number three, mitochondria are able to make some of their proteins own proteins, so they are regarded as semi-autonomous organelles. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.